Welcome back to another episode of Positive Profit. I'm your host, Kara Brothers, and I'm delighted that you are here with me today. We have got a great episode. We're going to be learning all about the various ways that dog treat bakers can obtain free USPS priority boxes for shipping your dog treats. That's right, they're free. These are shipping boxes that you would normally have to pay money for if you went through Amazon or you got them on Uline.com or Staples or Office Depot. Of course, they sell shipping boxes. You can get them for free if you want to ship with the United States Postal Service and you want to use Priority Mail. Welcome to the Positive Profit Podcast. I'm Kara Brothers, dog treat business owner and collector of way too many cute cookie cutters. Do you love to bake treats for your dog and think about starting or growing your own home-based dog treat business, but you're unclear about how to do all the things to make it successful? Sister, I've been there and we've got this. If you want to step into your potential and turn your passion into profit, listen and learn with the other bakers in the pack to get clarity and confidence to bake dog treats from home, make money, and of course, pet all the dogs while you're at it. Give your dog a treat, grab one for yourself, and join our brigade of positive profiteers, and let's dig into the episode. I can't believe we are in episode four. This show is just going right along. You guys are here. I'm here. We're doing it. Woohoo! These episodes come out every Tuesday and Thursday, so I'm going to bring you all of the tasty nuggets to start, grow, run your dog treat business. And I hope you listen to all of them to help you with whatever you need. Before we get into our episode today, I want to read you a review. This review comes from Holloman Hounds. They say, finally, a dog treat podcast. I feel like I've found resources for everything in the pet industry, but a bakery business like mine, like all the bakeries want to keep their secrets but it's so nice to see someone cater specifically to my niche. You hit the nail on the head of why I wanted to start this podcast. There's lots of podcasts about dogs, about baking, about business, but no one has put it all together specifically for dog treat bakers, which is what this podcast is all about. I'll be sharing little bits here and there twice a week. Hang out with me. We're going to do all the things. Hey, if you guys want me to read your review live on the air, you can head over to Apple Podcasts and leave a written review for the show. Or if you're watching this on YouTube, like, comment, and subscribe to my channel if you like my dog treat content. I'm super excited you're here and let's dig into the show. We've got a juicy topic that will have your wallets wagging. How to snag those precious USPS priority boxes for free and save some dough on your shipping costs, which is relevant at all times of the year, but especially now when we're in the Christmas season and the holiday season where expenses can multiply. You know what I'm talking about. So anywhere we can save money, we're going to do it. This is Barkonomics 101, y'all. There are enough things that we bakers need to buy in order to keep our business top notch, and there's no need to break the bank when we don't have to. So let's get into it. In preparation for this episode, I looked up the cost for a set of 20 9 by 9 by 4 inch corrugated white cardboard shipping boxes on Amazon. I'm not sure what size box you use. That's something that I like to use for a bigger order of cookies or uh, different things. That's a great size box. So I just looked up that size on Amazon. Now, sure, Amazon does have free delivery for Prime members. I love the savings there, and I will always recommend Amazon for free shipping. But a set of 20 shipping boxes is just over $31 with tax. Ouch. Now, why pay for shipping boxes when the United States Postal Service, the good old USPS, offers free priority mailboxes for shipping when you use USPS as a carrier? That's a great deal. The USPS is here to help dog treat businesses like yours and mine thrive without breaking the bank. I'm going to spill the secrets on how to get your paws on those priority boxes without spending a penny, and here's how you can obtain them. You can order them online. Let's talk about a little online ordering 101. First up, the virtual treasure hunt. 
head over to the USPS.com website and fill your cart up with the perfectly sized priority boxes for your treats. I'll guide you through the online ordering process to make sure those boxes are on your way to your kitchen bakery in no time. I actually have some priority mailboxes here that I use for my business, and I'm going to show you what a couple of them look like. The first box we're going to take a look at today is this one. When you order boxes from the USPS, they come flat and they come with a tie around a whole stack of boxes, however many you have ordered. It has an inside dimension of seven inches by seven inches by six inches. It also lists the outer dimensions, which is great, 7.25 by 7.25 by 6.5. But the inner dimensions is really what I'm concerned with because I'm going to be filling the inside. Like with any shipping box, you just 
open it and tape the bottom. But for this purpose, I'm just going to close it like that, just with my hands. Now this gives you a really good size. If you, for example, might be shipping a four inch cake, this would be a great box to ship a four inch cake. Okay. For example, this is just a box to ship it, but I never just put my order straight in that box. I have an inner box that I use. For Christmas time, this is a great box. I got it on Amazon. This happens to have a cutout of a gingerbread man, but it's a cutout where there's a window, a clear cellophane piece of um, material has been placed on the inside so you can see through the cutout of the gingerbread man to see what's inside. When I ship something like that, I like to package my treat in a little bubble wrap baggie. And this has a self-sealing top. I also got these on Amazon. This I think is a three by five, a three by six, something like that. I'll take my cookies. This is one from fall. It's a little donut. I'll show you for those that are in YouTube land with some sprinkles that I made myself. I'll package my treat right there in the bubble bag. Here's another one. This is a leftover. It's a little coffee cup, a little Starbucks kind of a coffee cup with a dog paw. So I'll put that right in there in my bubble bag as well and seal it up. And I'll open up my little cute gingerbread box, put the package inside, and this is pretty much ready to go. I'll fold it back up. Easy for me to do. Here it is folded back up and I'll place it in the box. This box is a bit, it's a bit big for this particular package. But what I would do is I would just use some packing peanuts or shipping paper or something like that. And then you're good to go. This is the other size box I want to show you. It has inner dimensions of nine and a quarter by six and a quarter by two inches deep. When I fold it up all the way, it looks something like this. Great size box. This is a keeper. It'll hold a four ounce bag of dog treats, a six ounce bag of dog treats. Heck, it might even hold an eight ounce bag of dog treats. I don't know. How I would use this box is I would have my bubble wrap package with a self-sealing flap. One, I'm going to do a Christmas treat cone of miniature grain-free stars. I use a chickpea flour in this recipe. It's basically a peanut butter recipe. No wheat flour. I've substituted chickpea flour. So this is a little Christmas treat cone and it's got a mini Kong ball right on top with a Christmas cellophane treat bag. Now these treat bags I got on Amazon, they are a bit thin and sometimes I've had issues with the sides splitting. So I always double bag them now because I've had lots of oops, little explosions. So I double bag them just to be sure. Now, even though these are in their own bag, I still like to secure them in a bubble bag that just protects them further. What's in the bubble bag, I take my box from the United States Postal Service. And by the way, this box, you guys, let me show you. On the sides, this one, and they all don't have this, but this one does. This one is so easy to put together, you don't need tape. You just peel off the self-adhesive backing, flip over that flap, and your box is ready to go. Just gotta press it a little bit. Now my box is ready to go. I didn't even need tape. You will to seal it though. Here is my treat cone in my bubble bag. I'm going to reuse this bubble bag. So let's just say I took the seal off. Let's just say that. And this is good to go. The bubble bag goes in and there's still lots of room to put an invoice, a thank you note, whatever. Tuck my flaps in. I'll show you here. And tuck this part in in right there. Even though I haven't used any tape on this box, I would still put some clear packing tape over that. That's it. Now my treat is safe and secure and it is ready to have a shipping label right here that has all the information and you're good to go. And this box didn't cost a thing. It's so easy to use boxes from Priority Mail, especially when they have those self-sealing sides. Very, very easy. Another way you can obtain those boxes for free is if you don't like clicking fancy buttons on your computer <laughs> to order online, not a problem. We'll explore the charm of using your local post office. Your local post office sometimes will have a variety of priority mail boxes available for free and they'll stock them right there in the store. The availability of sizes and types will vary by location. Again, they have everything available online. You can check the dimensions. That's my favorite place to order, but check out the post office if you'd like as well. Have you ever wanted to order supplies with just a phone call? <laughs> That's pretty easy too. So I've got the scoop on calling the United States Postal Service customer service and having those boxes delivered straight to your door. And it's a convenience for sure. I like to spend as little time on the phone as possible. This is not my favorite option, but it's definitely an option you can use. 
you can call the USPS customer service number at 1-800-ASK-USPS. That's 1-800-275-8777. Don't worry, I'll have all the links and phone numbers and everything available in the show notes if you're listening on podcast or in the description for the YouTube show. If you don't know what size they have, just tell them what size you need and they can locate the closest thing to that. So again, the customer service representative will guide you on all the available options and how to order them. Another way is the mail carrier connection. Your friendly mail carrier is not just delivering letters, they're delivering solutions. So learn how to request your free priority boxes during your regular mail carrier visit if you're lucky to catch them in person. It's a win-win for everyone. To request supplies during a mail carrier visit, if you've got regular mail carry deliveries to your address, you can request free priority mail boxes from your mail carrier. They may have some on hand to give you or be able to provide you with the information on how to order them. Are you an online shipping wizard? Discover how integrating free priority boxes into your shipping label creation can save you time and money. So I've got some tips out there for all you tech savvy bakers. If you happen to use online shipping services that are provided by the USPS, you may have the option to order free priority mail boxes as part of the shipping process. I print my labels at home, so I've not experienced this. But if you want to do it through the USPS.com website, you can order your boxes as part of that process. Check the options available when creating a shipping label online. Always make sure that you're ordering supplies directly from the official USPS website or obtaining them from an official USPS location. And please be cautious of third-party websites that may charge for supplies that the USPS provides for free. So there might be some dubious websites out there that might trick you into believing that you can get supplies for them. Don't do it. Always make sure you're using the real deal at usps.com. Please note that the process and the availability of free supplies may change at any time, so it's a good idea to check the USPS website or contact their customer service for the most up-to-date information. There you have it, Dog Treat Bakers, the ultimate guide to scoring free USPS priority boxes. Now you can ship your tasty creations with a smile, knowing you're saving on those shipping costs. Until next time, Keep those ovens warm, your ingredients fresh, and mostly keep your shipping boxes free. Happy baking, and don't forget to treat yourself well. Hey sis, one quick thing before you go. If this podcast episode helped or blessed you in some way, the number one way you can pay it forward is to head over to Apple Podcasts and search for my show, Positive Profit. Leave me a review and subscribe to the channel. Your heartfelt messages of gratitude impact me so much and bring me such massive joy, I would be so appreciative. Don't forget to join the free Facebook community at facebook.com forward slash groups forward slash start a dog treat business and send me your juicy questions at positiveprofit.com. I positively appreciate you and look forward to connecting with you again soon. Until then, don't forget to treat yourself well.